two new caps up in, so what's the uh, thinking behind the uh, selection for the first test? Um, on merit, really. Um, you know, Daniel Evans, he finishes the uh, season off strongly, a couple of good, strong performances. Um, he's fitted in well. Um, and Jonathan Davis, you know, he's, he's been a consistent uh, performer for the Scarlets during the year, so um, you know, there's no hesitation, really, in, in uh, giving them the first cap. Ryan, uh, last time you faced Canada, it was a bit harder night than maybe you would have anticipated. Uh, what, what's your views of uh, this coming weekend? Um, well, I think it's going to be a tough, tough, tough challenge. You know, I think um, it's a tough night in Cardiff. Um, they reflected everything that is good in Canadian rugby. It was a big different challenge. Um, and don't expect anything less uh, this weekend. What's been your main focus during the week, Robin? In training? Um, well, so far we spent yesterday getting the journey out to us, really. Um, we did done some, it doesn't work today, but um, concentrating on our own game. And then um, we had an opportunity to look at uh, Canada's game against Ireland as well. So we can um, take a little bit out of that. So we can uh, just concentrate a little bit more on some of the small detail in, in the game. 50. Robin, what was your impression of that uh, match at the weekend? Uh, Canada was hanging in for a little bit, but uh, final result, what did you think? Yeah, I think, you know, the performance really epitomised everything about Canadian rugby. You know, it was quite uh, physical. Um, and as you see, they hung in there for 60 minutes, and uh, there's been reference to it in the press you know, about uh, a cataclysmic moment on the, when you were attacking deep into the 22. And... Um, that was a turning point in, in many people's eyes, you know, but, um, you know, physical. Um, I'm sure that they've got that first game under their belt. Um, they'd be looking to, to push on from there, you know, to have, gone, to have gone so close against Ireland. I'm sure that they see this as a, a realistic chance for them um, to get one up on us. You said you wanted to sort of develop players and look at your options on tour, obviously, but is it important to strike the right balance between sort of the the inexperienced players, if you like, and the, and the experienced players? Yeah, I mean, right from the go, you saw the makeup of the squad um, and that blend of experience and youth. Um, you know, hopefully the, the young members will, will benefit from having um, certain senior players around. You know, unfortunately, uh, Mark Jones has been ruled out. But he just a bit of everything, you know, the professionalism he's got. So um, he takes them under the wing, as do you know, Ian Goff, um, Duncan Jones. They've all got a role to play, and the youngsters benefit from that. And um, you know, that's a, the squad, um, and it, that transfers itself into the team as well. Um, so there's a there's a good blend there. There's a good mix there. You know, if you look at the bench as well, it's quite a strong bench um, with a mix. Um, you know, should we need to? depend on anybody really, we, we know they can do a job. How, how much did you expect them to blend in a short amount of time and, and how pleased have you been with what you've seen so far in the new world's coming? Extremely pleased because getting the balance right between working hard and um, you know not overkill because it's at the end of a, a very tough season for, for all the boys really. Um, so we, we're trying to keep things fresh. Um, but as well, we don't want to be underprepared, you know, it's going to be a huge challenge ahead of us. And um, we're going to be at our best. So um, as much as, you know, one or two are gaining their first experience in international rugby, um, it is important that we, you know, maintain a, a level of performance as well. Ryan, is it a bit easier to captain a side on a tour to North America with uh, less of the pressure of home versus uh, last fall when you're in the, the thick of a, a big uh, bunch of inbound tours? Um, yeah, you know, I suppose you've got the luxury of uh, being away from home. It's, uh, it's very much, uh, you know, it's only us out here, really. It's very much a mentality where there's room of all of stick together. Um, we're out to the media glare, I suppose, somewhat. Um, and you, you know, you get a bit of a respite from, from, from uh, you know, the, the mad taps, as we get to call them. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, but it, it poses a different challenge, you know. There's, there's other things you have to overcome, but, you know, it's just one Things, it's, a, it's a different challenge altogether. And are the uh, younger guys, are you ha 
having a good control of them? Or are they uh, sort of excited to be on tour and uh, yeah, you have think, to watch them? I think they, uh, they're pretty excited. There's some uh, enigmatic characters in there and, uh, you know, we've, we've trying to keep the reins on and uh, keep control of But no, they, they've all been around a long time. They've been on tours with the clubs and different things. So, you know, it's, uh, we're all very much uh, in the same boat. And they know what's expected of them and, and so far of uh, themselves and family and friends are very proud. Last one, guys. Very happy. Okay, thank you. It's the fourth part over. Robin, if you start with 